Welcome to 7 Trumpets Prepper. Guys, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you in the background here how I set up my Easy Flow Hive and inserted my bees. I'm also gonna show you where I bought my hive, where I got my suit, and where I got my bees from. And I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you get into beekeeping. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so we've got our auto frames, and then we've got our actual hive. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those open, <clears throat> and we'll get started on this, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay guys, so here we have the auto frames and where that you can turn these and crank them and make the hive Okay guys, so I've got my cat Dolly has come over to help and she's the farm cat and we've got the auto frames here out of the box now and where that you can Crank those and let the honey drain down through the drain there. I'm sorry, wrong sign, right there, out. So that's really cool. And then we also have the hive itself. So what I'm gonna do is actually build the hive um, and follow the instructions here and I'll show you that as I go through the sections. And then what we'll do at that point conjuncture is we'll actually uh, probably go ahead and paint this unit um, on the exterior white, and then I'll have it ready to go to set on the pad. Okay guys, so I just want to take a pause in the middle of this build. Um, as far as the hive goes, I want to show you. The brood box is a nightmare to put together in an honest review of this. I build cabinets all the time for tiny houses, build all sorts of stuff, and I'm just giving an honest review. That brood box was a nightmare to beat together. Um, this piece is here, even though it was angled groove, slid right in, didn't even have, I, I literally pushed that together by hand. I had to literally take the Avengers hammer, <laughs> I call my Milwaukee three pound sledge, the Avengers hammer, and beat that together with brute force. Um, and it finally went together, but you got the stand, the brood box, and after you get those four pieces together, then this just lays right down into that. So there's the queen excluder. And then what we're doing now is we're building the super and there's the view screen areas in the front and then of course the lid to take off to work on your flow frames uh, and get that uh, the goodness out of that. Uh, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the knobs, the six knobs that go on here um, and then we'll start screwing some stuff together because you've got the four pieces in the beginning with the, the uh, brood box and then you've got these pieces here. You've got the two sides, the back that intricate front piece which is right here and then that piece and then the angled front piece to come off uh, i say front piece but it's actually the rear of the box where you're getting the honey and then we've got the roof which is six panels roughly a top cap two sides and the roof angle right there and then of course you've got your two side panels that go in here and cover that but uh yeah there's not a lot to this but i will say this like the brood box part is not fun to put together. This is not bad. I don't think the roof's gonna be an issue. Um, the base is pre-made and the screen's pre-made for the tops. I mean, there's not a lot of work to put into this and the next and I'll definitely have it down to a science pretty quick. Here's the completed box and I'm about to paint that with uh, ultra cover semi-gloss white paint uh, on the exterior to help seal it in, protect it from the weather and um, Hopefully, we'll get this set up on the stand before uh, the day is out, and uh, this will hopefully have dried at least a coat or two. And pretty much uh, got the roof done, the super, the brood box, the bottom plate comes ready to go. So that's pretty much it, guys. At this point, it's just uh, paint it, set it up. All right, guys, so we've got our bees in the mail. Please overlook the dog barking in the background. Jake is so excited today. Got the bees, got the hive, Got them something to drink this morning, get them back juiced up. Got our suit and our gloves, and I'm gonna get suited up, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the video camera back on and I'm gonna film this as I go, and I'll just, I guess I'll just have to lay my camera down, chop it up in pieces, um, and subset this together so you can see the process, but guys, I'm gonna get suited up and we'll get the show on the road. Okay, guys, so here's the suit. It's supposed to be, I think, triple layer protection. Um, I feel like I am in one of those um, hazmat suits and it's like a zombie apocalypse biohazard movie. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get the lid off here and I'm going to flip the cam, get it started running here and we'll get these guys set in here and hopefully get them a home. 
Okay guys, so we're going to uh, pop the lid off. I'm gonna put the queen in here, transfer her in, and <clears throat> we're gonna see how well they take to that. And I'll show you here just shortly. Okay guys, I've set the box in to get them comfortable with their new surrounding. And hopefully they'll begin the transition to coming out and start working this into a hive. I've got them some supplies there to start having good breakfast for the day and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the hive for right now and let them get settled and I'll come back maybe maybe tomorrow I'll check on this and see see where we're at with about tomorrow hey right, guys you can see the bees are starting to come out get used to their surroundings now what I'm gonna do now <clears throat> is start installing the flow hives in and we can see here how they look this is the flow hive there's the plug at the end okay like so and now these will set in here like so just like that and we'll start building these guys an area for them to start putting some honey in and I am excited about this. I'll show you how that looks in just a minute when I've got them all in there. Okay guys, now I've got all the frames in there. And what we'll do now is we'll put <clears throat> the screen on top, the roof back on, and we'll pretty much have this to a wrap ski for a while. Um, I'm gonna keep getting them some more um, sugar water and syrup and keep these guys happy. I'm gonna cut them some apples and stuff, put right there on that other concrete pad and uh, try to make them as happy as possible in their new home here. So guys, there's the hive together. Guys are starting to figure out where to come in and go out. Like I said, I'm gonna get them some more uh, sugar water and stuff here. And uh, I'm excited to see just exactly how this turns out. And hopefully it's gonna be a great success soon. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will keep you posted as my journey with beekeeping continues. Um, uh, hopefully we'll harvest some honey here um, late summer. Um, <clears throat> I really don't want to bother them too much this first season. Um, I just really want to get some hives established um, and give these little guys a home and a happy place. Um, I see a couple of them hanging out with me right now. Um, but guys, if you uh, want to find out the information about this suit, uh, where I got my hive, where I got my honeybees, all the information's in the video description below. Um, and guys, as always, until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope the Most High Yah Baruch you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, show you favor, and give you shalom, my friends. In Yahushua name.